All right, guys, so the only videos I've seen so far, if you want to hook up a um, water sensor, or a, yeah, water temperature sensor, people are either splicing these and putting that aluminum block in that you tap into, or that's pre-tapped, or guys are going all the way down into the water pump down there and tying in, but that's something I don't want to screw with. The best way, I, what I was going to do is do the aluminum block here, and then I looked further into it, and it's basically a money grab. I mean, it makes it, makes it look fancier under the hood. You got a nice, you know, blue or purple or whatever, orange or green um, powder coated aluminum. But, uh, and it's only 15 bucks. But honestly, guys, um, I'm going for performance on my truck. I'm not going to car shows and popping my hood. So, power, practical gauges that I need to work. And, yeah, same goes for the boost time. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So, this is plastic here. It's obviously high rated for heat. Um, you'd never want to directly tap into the hose. That just would not work out well at all. But basically, right, if you feel it, right back here, right on my fingernail, not my finger. So, it still goes out, you know, a solid two inches past where I tapped in. So, you can easily still clamp on safely. I'll start the truck in a minute to show you guys that it doesn't leak under pressure. But um, that right there is just from what I drilled in. I literally just finished this. I already started the truck, tested it. She doesn't leak, no Teflon tape required. But um, point is, if you don't want to waste the $15 to have that fancy looking piece that you absolutely do not need, um, and you're not going for looks, you just want to get your gauge installed, or your gauge just came in and you don't want to wait for that other piece before you can get her working. Um, yeah, tap in right there. Um, I'll let you know what I used for the drill bit size. It was uh, 1132s. So yeah, 1132nd. Yeah, just, you know, as you drill in, obviously blow off your shards. And then right at the last bit, I just, when I can tell, you'll start to get a little bit of rad fluid leaking when the tip pierces. And that's when you just hammer full speed. So you're sucking the plastics out. And as soon as you drop through, pull out instantly. You don't want to start melting the plastic and going wider than you're supposed to be. And yeah, um, this baby's in there solid, guys. I actually... Uh, She's so tight, I couldn't even thread it past there. So, um, yeah, let me start it up and prove to everybody that's uh, going to be hating or talking shit that it doesn't leak. And uh, those are my other two gauges. I got my and my boost gauge. Boost runs at minus two because it was, uh, it changes with elevation. It was set for ocean sea level. And I live up in Canada in the mountains, so that changes. When I go four by four and way up the mountains, sometimes it goes to minus two. I just compensate for it. But if you wanna avoid that, you can go for one of these ones that's not digital. And yeah, she'll zero every time. But come check this out. Malik. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly get under here and uh, focus in. I'm gonna get that other one sitting right here, guys. So I'll have my exhaust gas temperature boost, which is honestly just kind of cool to have. I think it's more for display purposes than anything and kind of neat to know what you're pushing for boost. Definitely need this because I tow and I'm gonna tune this and I definitely want to have my... Uh, my water temperature because you know 
that's just not accurate enough when you're tuning things and hauling trailers so yeah there, there's a quick video to show you guys how to do a tap without buying that stupid uh aluminum that powder coated aluminum kit for 15 bucks and i'm not cheap if i wanted to you know go for the fancy look under the hood i would have invested in it but i'm all about performance and uh you know practicality i, I pra like or not practicality whatever it's called you know what i'm saying i'm about um using shit other than this that just looks cool but it doesn't hurt to know what you're pushing for boost especially when you get into tuning it so you know what different tunes are pushing different boosts but yeah egt definitely needed and same with the water temp and like i said i don't care what it looks like under the hood i do keep it clean under there but um you know this ain't no fast and the furious truck it's for uh it's a tow rig but there you have it that is where you're going to want to tap in.